Some people say that if you eat bananas and then go out and work your hives, that your bees will really be much more defensive and sting you a lot more. Well, today, I'm going to check it out with my friend John Zavishlock. We're going to go out to the hive with a banana and see if it makes the bees mad, and it all starts right now. What's up, everybody? David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper, with my good friend and also EAS Certified Master Beekeeper, John Zavishlock. Hey, John. Hey, how you doing, David? Good. Thanks for joining me in the bee yard. Oh, well, uh, there's no place I'd rather be. Behind us, we have 18 colonies at... Uh, at, at the location of the Eastern Apicultural Society. These colonies are brought in on trailer uh, mainly to sh have some classes mm -hmm. during the conference, yep. Yeah. And also to test master beekeeper candidate. John gave a talk, keynote speaker about pheromones. That was a really good talk. Everybody, yeah. everybody liked it really. Make oh, it wow. up as I go along. Oh, you were really good. We got to talking about banana because he talked about pheromones and the question is about you know, don't ever eat a banana before you go out and work a hive or the, the, the bees will tear you up if you have banana smell on you. And it's because bananas and banana peels contain a chemical called isopentyl acetate or isoamyl acetate. Can you say that three times? Isoamyl acetate, isoamyl acetate, isoamyl acetate. You can. So that's the, the sting alarm pheromone. There's also the mandibular alarm pheromone that they give off when they oh, bite that's a, right. a rolemite or a, a wax moth or or another bee, like a robber bee, they'll tag it with a, a pheromone so that the other bees can identify yeah. it as one that doesn't belong. And that one also has a weak banana smell. So what we're gonna do is actually take something black. We have a sock and we're gonna mm -hmm. take one that with, we're gonna start first without any banana smell or mm -hmm. banana on it. We're just gonna kinda put it in front of a hive over here that we've been watching. And the reason we're using a black sock, we yeah. should explain, is, is because uh, honeybees tend to be much more defensive, act defensively toward dark colors. Most right. of their natural enemies, bears, badgers, skunks, things like that, are, are dark colored. And so in South America, where people are trying to assess the uh, level of Africanized honeybee genes in particular stock, they yeah. use a, what they call the black flag test, where they'll wave a, a, a black flag, often made out of leather, black leather, yeah. over and count how many stings they get in a certain amount of time. Exactly. But we're just gonna kinda do a, a very crude experiment just to see if bees here uh, which actually have been pretty friendly, but we're going to see if they're going to react defensively to our own black flag, and then we're going to introduce some banana odors and yeah. see if that makes a difference. And we have to prove it right or wrong, darn it. That's right. Enough In of this folklore. Yeah, right. does it? Is it true or not? All right, so we're going to get to work and join us on this little journey to see if banana really does attract bees to sting you more. Let's get started, John. This is the owner of all these 18 colonies here. He's got a lot of colonies, but he's also a master beekeeper. And John and John are both talking about which is the most defensive colony we should play with. I think they picked one out. John's got a banana. What are you going to do? Just lay it there? I'm going to put it right here. Wow. They should be able to definitely okay. smell that. You would think they would attack it. You think they're agitated by it? Can you tell? I think they seemed a little more bothered by it, but There's I don't know. There's one walking around on it. Yeah, I see one walking over here on it. We have everything on to protect ourselves. Yep, totally, totally suited John's got heavy duty boots right. on. I got my, that his, got my thick boots. His boots have the appearance of feet, That's so right. he's camouflage. fully protected. If they start dragging you off to the woods, I'm going to keep the camera rolling. Oh, please do. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, look at that. So now, oh, did you hear a, a change in the buzz? I did. And they, they made their way over there oh, more quickly. They're walking around on it. Now, there is a chance that they could be attracted to sugars in it. No, they look more attracted to the odor, I think. I think put it in there and smash it up good. You could grab it and roll the sock off of you. That's what I was yeah. Thinking. Yeah, like this. And that'll yeah. keep it from peeling back up, closing itself. Oh, well. All right. Got half, of, all. got half of it in there, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm scientifically squishing. Okay. Okay. So the bananas, can you smell banana in there? I can. I can definitely can, smell banana. Okay, you can smell banana. Yeah, that is not something I ever thought I would be doing in the name of science. Popping the top, they should just be mad anyway, right? Right, because we're not using any smoke. No smoke at all. Definitely no, no, no aggression or defensiveness toward the sock 
this artificial bear paw. Oh, there's one. Movement. They, they're attracted to movement. There. Oh my gosh. I touched them that time. Oh, they're coming up fast. Oh my gosh. Are they stinging now? Well, let's just say if I was a sock, I'd be leaving. Kind of make a circular motion without touching them. There you go. Oh yeah. You, th you did see one sting on it though? I think so. We'll get a close up of Oh, they're coming up now. Look at that. Oh yeah, there they go. Oh. They're coming up. They're following it. Look at how they turn in their heads. Oh yeah. The ones on the top frames or top bars are actually watching it, aren't they? Ooh, do you hey see dog, it? Look at them go now. Oh boy. Oh wow, they're paddling up right under it, aren't they? Let me see if I can do it over here. What does that do? Yeah, look how they're moving that direction. Oh, the whole the whole hive's moving that way. For sure. Wow. But are they stinging it? It don't matter. I wouldn't want them to do that to me. I, that would scare me off. Maybe they're not willing to sacrifice. Yeah, see if they all walk over there now. Oh yeah, they're moving that way. Wow. They're collecting under it. It reminds me of that little toy we had that had magnet flakes in it. Oh, yeah. And you could take a magnet and all the flakes would be attracted to one corner, you know? All right, so we have one plain sock without banana. Now this is just a plain just black a sock. Plain black sock, nothing in it. No banana in it at all. So it doesn't appear to be the color. How about movement? Ooh, they are not reacting like they did. A non-banana sock, no banana smell, just John's dirty feet smell all day, which I heard they didn't like, so we can say that doesn't work. Right. <laughs> dirty smell doesn't matter. No, that's not getting the reaction at all. I'd say try the banana one again. I wonder if the two of them together, they'll react to the... Oh. See which, if you can do both of them it's at the same time. Again, upwind. The wind kind of stopped right now. Yep, it did. They're not piling up on it like they were. Oh, there they go. There they go. Now. Side by side, huh? Yeah. Definitely no interest in this. No interest in the plain black sock at all much. They're quicker to go to the banana one f by far. But we really had to stir them up. Yeah, we did. So, what's the consensus? I'd say banana wins, although the, the other one is getting some to look at it, but they're not landing on it like they are the banana one. Give them the old bait and switch. All right, bait and switch. Of course, there are bees on that one already, but that's true. piled up over that. Come on. Definitely not. No go on that. It is a stinger. So there is one or two stingers on there. Okay, that's a stinger. Yep. That one's a stinger. There's one, that one's not, that's just a little piece of stick. Yeah, maybe at the oh, top. Several up yeah, there, look yeah. at the look at the stings and, up and there. And there's not really much banana up there. Oh, good point. That's a lot of stings. Well, we put the there. banana in through the sock. Sure. Yeah. Any stings on the other one? I do not see a single sting in that one. No. Now, all right, ready for one last test? Of the non-banana one? Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm just going to, now that they're a little bit riled up. Oh, wow, that ought to make them mad. There are bees on it. Are they stinging it? They are. I see one trying to sting it. The one right on the line right there. This one right here? I think so. Looks like the abdomen's yep. going in. Okay, but it took quite a bit of... Yeah, raking it across. Raking it across. That one there might have tried to sting too. She's bent over. I can't see the other side of her. Yeah, she's trying to poke it. And then. Oh right. boy, this is going to rile them. One. Last one is just rake the banana sock across. Yep. Oh wow. Holy cow. Oh wow. Yep, yep. So once we have stingers on that sock, that alarm pheromone. There would be more alarm pheromone up there. But yeah, yeah. 
any kind of movement now really riles them up. Well, only the movement of the banana sock. The other one. Well, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have we seen enough? I've seen enough. Black flag, black sock test while we're smoking. All right. I'm going to rake it now. That's what I got them wired up last time. Okay. There's a bee on it. And Boy, left. it wasn't like before, was it? Let me, let me do a little more smoking like this. And then smoke the sock. Is she yeah, the maybe. No, no she's just looking. Down. All right, we've smoked it a lot. Rake it across some more, let's see. Well, yeah. smoke clearly, uh, well, make, well, well, clearly well, well, made a difference. Smoke makes a smoke huge difference. Made a huge difference. So then we thought maybe it's a black. So we're just going to do a white cloth across the top. Now these are already mad, so it's not a Yeah, it's not totally a good way to do it, is it? A lot less, wouldn't you say? Yeah, now we did just smoke them, but it's clearly not color yeah. related. That's true. Because I could get the black sock out here again and they'd be back on it. Oh yeah. It was a combination of banana and black. Cause they like to sting the black cloth. They don't Interested in stinging that banana. Yeah, let's count the stinger when we're done. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Yep. Okay. Eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve good stings. Oh, wow. Hey. How many stingers would it take to kill a human your size? Uh, I've heard eleven. I've heard eleven hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred. Yeah. So we're but, short of that. You know, everybody's physiology is different. So yeah, that's some true. Some people have a threshold of one. Well, with people, anaphylactic shock. Yeah. yeah. But other people, it might take two hundred. Yeah. You know, it yeah. depends on your size. Right and your health conditions and yeah. things, because it definitely will uh, start your heart racing and yeah. flood you with adrenaline, so some people oh, yeah. get uh, dizzy, will, yeah, have a heart attack. Yeah. Most people just probably would panic and uh, feel run, bad, run feel scared, face into a tree. What's the final um, conclusion, John? What do you think? Banana, black sock, what do you think? Well, there was definitely a response to the banana, not the banana on its own. Right. Uh, not the banana peel. When we opened the banana, they were just feeding on the sugars in the banana. Yeah. Uh, the banana in the sock didn't really elicit much of a reaction until we gave it a lot of movement. Right. And we really had to take the top of the, the hive off and really stir them up. So it was, we had to disturb them before they reacted. But once they started to react, once they started stinging the sock, we yeah. started raking it across their heads. Yeah. Then they took that as a threat, as you could imagine. Yeah. So I'm not sure I would say that eating a banana and visiting your beehive is going to necessarily put you in a dangerous situation. But I wouldn't stick a banana in my sock, then put my shoes on and walk out. <laughs> then you get banana between your toes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, I don't like to wear dark socks and short shoes at the beehive anyway. No. Now while we were doing this, we had some other people show up and give comments. Mm -hmm. And one person made a good point that maybe the age of the banana might make a difference. And older... Older bananas, older banana. more ripe bananas are definitely going to have more of an odor. These were the only bananas we could find here locally right now. And they were still kind of green around the edge. A little bit, yeah. yeah. They, they didn't have a, a real strong smell. Yeah. So that's definitely something we could, we could yeah. look into later on. The ultimate test is to have a guy eat a couple of bananas mm -hmm. and then uh, come out and work the same hive. Mm -hmm. And then the next, well, maybe you would start with not eating bananas. Mm -hmm. Work. We, we worked that same hive yesterday. That was one of them that we used. Oh, okay then. So, yesterday it was really calm, I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the content today and found it valuable. I'm working hard for you. I'm here to help you achieve your beekeeping ambitions and to give you value to answer problems that you're having. That's my goal in making a beekeeping video. 
is how can I bring a solution to beekeeping problems that you may have and to help you reach your beekeeping ambition. So I'm here for you. I really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, click on the bell, and by all means, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.